Hey, I'm Josh, full-time Amazon, full-time eBay seller. Today, we're gonna go to some thrift stores. I'm gonna show you the stuff that I pick up to make money selling on eBay. Let's open the app and see where we're at. Okay, we're at like 37,000 and change and almost 1,100 sold in the last 90 days. That's okay. I'm trying to get that number up a little bit. So let's just go inside and take a look-see. All right, I'm starting off at a church thrift store. Prices are ridiculous in here. 25 cents for t-shirts, a dollar for men's sweatshirts and shirts, a dollar for men's dress slacks. We got the 1985 pricing going on in here. So let's just cut straight to it and I'll show you the stuff that I picked up. Okay, I got this pair of men's Hoka Bondi 8 shoes. You can see there, they look, well, they're not in really great condition. Actually, not the best condition, but they only want one dollar for them. The soles have some wear. These should sell no problem for over thirty bucks. If they were in better condition, they would sell for like seventy or sixty bucks. I'm gonna grab this Adidas women's down puffer vest. It's white, which is kind of a reseller nightmare, and it does have some discoloration and staining on there on the front. But I think some OxyClean can knock that out. So for a dollar, I think I'm gonna chance it and pick that one up as well. And this one's not too bad either. It's men's Cabela's camo flannel button down or button up shirt. It's in pretty good shape. It's got a little bit of light fading, but again, for a dollar, I think we're gonna grab that. It should sell for about 20 bucks. And this is a mistake. I should put this back. This was like a, a hoodie. It's a Lake Girl hoodie. I don't know why I thought about getting this. Uh, this would sell maybe for 15 bucks. And we got this vintage IU Hoosiers men's quarter zip here it's usa made i'm not sure what that brand is uh, again this would probably sell for 15 bucks but we are going to pick up this levi's 501s xx shrink to fit men's button fly jeans beige these should sell for about 20 bucks uh, i should put some of this back see at normal prices at the thrift store i wouldn't pick up any of this stuff for five to seven bucks but i'll pick up all of it for five bucks okay thrift store number two this isn't a church thrift store. It's a private thrift store, I think. But the prices are really good in here. It's not huge. Most stuff is three bucks. Uh, jackets are a little bit more expensive. And here's a sign right here. So shirts are, this is like the worst sign in the history. It's, could they make it any smaller? It looks like they're covering a hole in the wall. So I was able to find this Dickies men's puffer vest. Size XL for three bucks. We'll grab this. It should sell for maybe 20 to $25. No problem. And we've got this men's carbon to cobalt. That's a pretty good men's brand. It's just a basic Henley shirt, size medium. Uh, that should sell for about $20. We'll grab it. And then I was thinking about this Adidas Fly Emirates. It's a, a Ronaldo jersey. It's an Adidas one. It's not the actual like game style jersey. Those are worth like a lot of money. They make a subline, which is like an imitation, but it's still real. It's just not high quality Adidas. And I think that's what that is. And there's something, it's like faded on the back. I don't know what's going on with this. I think this is real. It's got some issues. It's got some staining and some snags. I want to take a look at the tag in here to make sure this is an actual Adidas product. And yeah, it definitely is. But it's got some issues. Otherwise, I think I would grab this and it would sell for okay money. But I think I'm going to leave it behind. But I'm going to grab this. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm going to grab this uh, this Realtree camo hunter hat with the ear flaps. The ear flaps are kind of cool. It's Sherpa line. It, the hats are only 50 cents here. So this is kind of an impulse purchase. But this will sell for maybe 10 to 15 bucks. And I thought about grabbing this Duluth trading sweater. But we're coming out of winter. And I just don't think that's going to sell that great. And I'm going to pass on these army camo pants there's a woodland one and a digital camo one they're not in the best condition if they were like one or two dollars i would have grabbed them but we're going to pass on those as well and i thought about grabbing this for 50 cents i thought this was a winner carhartt vintage with the kind of ear flaps but it's a little too beat up the logo it's just not in the best condition it looks like there's a mark or a hole or stain right there so that's a pass but we are going to grab this vintage chicago bears men's sweatshirt and if we zoom in on that little tag thingy right there it says 1997 on it this is usa made i'm not really sure what brand this is it doesn't really matter this just has that look like someone would try and sell it on depop for 95 dollars. so we're going to grab that and now we're off 
to thrift store number three, a Goodwill. Let's just get straight into what I'm getting. Okay, we got Levi's 560s, size 40 by 32. These actually sell really well in these larger sizes. They're in good shape. I sell these all the time for about 30 bucks. Next, we got a sweatshirt that just has an X on it. It's a brand called Hill Flint, and they make collegiate wear. Obviously, it's new with tags, and it just has an X on it. That X stands for Xavier, not Professor Xavier of the X-Men, the college Xavier. I don't even know where that school's at. It doesn't matter. So I looked it up on the eBay app to see what these are selling for. We'll filter it down to new. Okay, so there's 32 available for sale right now. So let's look at the solds. And there's 28 sold in the last 90 days. 90 days. Those numbers look great. And let's see what they're going for. 59, 69, took an offer for 69, 100, 43, 50, 50. Okay, so these are selling great. So I'm definitely going to pick this up. It's going to sell for probably 50 to 70 bucks, no problem. I don't see any Xavier ones on there anyway. Okay, so get that out of here. And next, we got a men's button-up shirt. It doesn't really look like anything special. I guess it's not really. It's the brand Cabela's, which really isn't a great brand. But this is a good shirt. It's 100% wool. It's really, really thick. I wish you could feel how thick this was. It's in really great condition. Doesn't look like it's ever been washed. So let's just look it up real quick. I know these sell for decent money, but I can't remember how much they sell for. So I did a search. It looks like we filtered it down to solds and... There's a lot of plaid ones that sell. Okay, so there's a gray one. Uh, took an offer on 30, sold for 40, took an offer on 40, took an offer on $44, sold for 40, sold for 40, sold for 40, sold for 50. Okay, so these are, this is gonna sell for 40 bucks. Okay, so we're gonna grab that. And then, I was looking up right where I was filming and I saw this men's blazer right in front of me. So I grabbed it. It's a brand called Orvis. That's a vintage tag. It's USA made and it's got elbow patches, which for whatever reason, add value to stuff. And it's just regular store pricing. They want $7 and 50 cents for it. I looked this one up. These sell awesome. The corduroy ones are going for 50, 69, 69, took an offer, 62, 40, 12. That's probably not a good one. 34, 34. Okay, so you get the idea. These sell for between, I don't know, 30 and $70. So we're going to grab that. So while everybody and their brother is out at the thrift store looking for vintage grails and Harley t shirts or whatever, I'm over in the corner stacking up Orvis blazers, Cabela button up shirts that are actually worth a lot of money, in my opinion. So I can go into almost any thrift store and pull out. $100 profit, $200 profit, and I just hit the thrift stores really quick, like 20 or 30 minutes, I'm in and out. And check out this shirt of SpongeBob riding a cat. I'm Josh, that's what I did today, and I'll see you next time.